my vlog. So I've just landed in Nairobi, Kenya. This vlog is not a step by step, <laughs> uh, see everything that's going on on my trip kind of vlog, but I'm just going to share highlights mostly. Uh, so first things first, we got in and then we stood on this line where they had to check and then they were scanning like yellow fever cards. For those of you who go to the airports and just like take yellow fever cards from people who pay you and you just pay like small money, just know that if you scan it and you put in your details and it doesn't pop up on the system. There's two things that could happen depending on the country. The countries who have vaccines, like Kenya and Ghana, because I'm sure of those two, they'll make you take the vaccine there and give you a fresh card. So you're going to waste a lot of time at immigration because of that. But all in all, uh, I have to, I think my next flight is in seven hours. So I'm just like relaxing before then. Should I give you guys a room tour? Okay, let me show you guys. Bathroom first with the bathroom, and you know, this is what it looks like. Shower head looks good for you know what. <laughs> this is the bathroom. This is bathroom. This is I. This is me. So, moving on to the bedroom. Out. And then you see this in the bedroom. You guys, you come here and this is the bedroom. You know, that's it. That's that pretty chair. This table. And then the view of the city. Can you see how clean the country looks, guys? So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to rest and freshen up and all of that. So see you guys when... I'm heading out. Okay? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, I have finally arrived in Malindi. I've just taken a shower. Um, I just want to go outside and kind of show you guys what's outside my room and after that I will go and have some breakfast because um, breakfast ends in about an hour. So good morning. I was going to film my video and I'm going to go and eat breakfast. Good morning. Good morning guys. This is me in my vacation home. So today I'm just going to go and tend the pirates. <laughs> I'm going to go and tend the pirates. Say so welcome AD to my vacation home. So like today I will be tending the birds and feeding the fishes. The fish. <laughs> Baby, baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Ooh, I'll be baby later, you can show me things You know what it is whenever I visit Windy City, she blowing me kisses, no 30 degrees, way too cold, so hold me tight Well, I see you at the show tonight Well, I see you at the show tonight Okay guys, so crazy. 
I forgot my camera and someone just called me to come and pick it up. But let me just show you guys a little tour of this place. This is outside though. So this is like the garden area. You can hear how quiet and you can hear the sounds of the birds chirping from this. This is the pool. And that is there. So pretty. Love will go love me fast. Love will go take you last. I need your love and I'm promising you everything. Whoa. I finally spoke my mind. So you open up this door, and this is what you see when you come in. So there's like a table situation here, and there's this chair which opens up to the garden view that I showed you earlier. And then, you know, there's this artwork here. I really love the style of this um, architecture. And you see this corner. And then, this is, I love this bathroom. Like, it makes me so happy with the two separate showers. And then you come out again. And this is the room. I absolutely love you know East African architecture. Um, I love this setup here. This artwork, bed area, more chairs. Welcome thing for me. Artwork of Africa. This artwork. I find it so interesting. <laughs> That's all I can see. And this is my favorite part. So this is the closet. And you know, it's like, yeah, it's out. Okay guys, so there you have it, a tour of my bedroom. So I want this dress for breakfast because I just wanted like an easy dress, but there's a pool so I'm thinking of changing to like some sort of bikini so that I can kind of jump into the water if I'd like. I guess you guys saw me unbox this but <laughs> I have an iPad now. I literally just unboxed this so I'm not using it too much because there's no case and I'm not like done setting it up. Maybe when I get a case and a screen guard I'm going to film a video letting you guys see how I choose to set up mine for maximum productivity i feel like i've been saying i'm going to film those kind of videos for a while but um yeah but today i i don't think i'm going to do anything today maybe i'll go to the beach uh, so the resort has two parts there's the bilonia retreat and the bilonia resort so the bilonia retreat is like calm relaxing relaxation so if you look around you see a lot of trees the pool just like very peaceful very quiet you can't even hear like you know loud music or something here but then the resort that part is like for the if you came to sort of turn up so um yeah that place is also where the beach is so i'll probably go there in the evening but guys uh it's kenya and kenya is africa and africa during the day is quite hot so i am just going to dress appropriately for the weather so something short something like can like move around conveniently in so yes i'm just trying to braid my hair to not be like too much of a disturbance <laughs> Okay guys, so more appropriate outfit change. Top is from Basics Lagos. This is the black one. You can get the brown and other colors from Osan Co. Shorts from Ralph Lauren. I'm wearing my Tory Burke sandals. Packs my hair in a bun. I'm just going home with my iPad and my phone. I'm not working on this trip per se, but I'm doing a lot of thinking and planning, which is why, what I'm going to do right now. And I know it's not obvious guys, but I'm breaking out. I've already booked a dermatology appointment when I get back, so let's go work. I also took off my Apple Watch guys, because 
I don't need any bad vibes reminding me to jump and work out and walk and stand on vacation. Although I feel like I might still exercise in the evening, you know. Like, do you really take a break from this life? Like, do you? Okay, mobs. Maybe you back in the show. <laughs> I don't even know. Like... There's so many things I can do today, right? So for one, I could go sightseeing or, you know, film content. But for some reason, I'm kind of not in the mood to wear makeup today. Maybe tomorrow I will feel more like it. But today, I really do not feel like wearing makeup. Um, I'm kind of bored. <gasps> not my pencil falling. So, you guys know that I just unboxed my iPad this morning, right? So, I'm just putting it in the box and using it because, I don't know, like, I don't want it to get scratched or something. I'm very huge on, like, cases and screen guards. And if I don't have one, I don't really want to use my device. But, yes, yeah, like, I don't know what to do. But, you know what? Since, like, we've got time today, maybe we should just do... We should have a chat. Let me come in real quick. So I recently did a Q&A on Instagram and you know, I told people to ask me anything and anytime I do those kind of questions, people always ask me really, really personal questions. So people always ask questions about my sources of income, what I do for money, if I'm in a relationship or like, I feel like those are these three very personal, like, top-tier questions that I always get. When it comes to someone's relationship status, for example, I personally believe that there's so many things that, even as a creator and someone who sort of shares my life with the internet, that I will not share with the internet. And, for example, my relationship status will forever be private to me except maybe people who know me personally or my friends or family members of course they would always know when i'm seeing someone or in a relationship where i'm dating or whatnot but what is the obsession with that especially for women who because because the the way that these questions come right they come right immediately after how are you able to afford xyz like someone literally said I should share how my friends and I like I should share the work that I do and I, I don't know the question was just really weird and really off and I feel like if you watch my vlogs you know what I do for money like I do have a nine-to-five job I also have run a couple of businesses I'm also a social media creator like I do a lot of things for money right and just trying to tie my lifestyle to if there's the presence of a man in my life will never not be well to me. But, you know, good luck to everyone. You, like, every, you, like, I mean, I just, they're just, like, parts of your life that should be for you and not for everyone. And the people who share, like, it's okay, but it's just not something that I'm comfortable doing. And that's that's the tea on that. So let me know if you're a social media creator or if you're a very popular person. What well, how would you treat like if you're in a relationship or things about your streams of income online? We'd love to know.
Hey loves, uh, so it's <laughs> it's like 7 p.m. I'm trying to find. Okay, the light is here. Yeah. Alright. Hey my loves, good morning. So I'm awake. It's so peaceful and quiet. If you listen, you'd literally hear the birds chirping. Um so I think <laughs> I mentioned that Nairobi was to no not Nairobi, Kenya was two hours ahead of Nigeria. But um, yeah, so like my body still wakes up with like the Nigerian clocks. I still wake up at six, six thirty. I've been up for a bit. Um, so now I do this thing where I come out in the morning and I just listen to the birds crow. I think they're crow birds and they just like crow and they chirp and they talk and they sing. And I don't know. I find it so peaceful, so fascinating. Uh, and I just want to read a book. Welcome to Black Girl Bare Minimum. I'm not sure what I want to do today, but I definitely have to do something today. Most likely we'll take photos. If I do take photos today, then maybe I'll do some activities in the evening or something. But it's like rest and relax, so we're doing a ton of that. I've been a throw up the sex in a uh-huh. And I can put you in I can put you in I've been a throw up the sex in a Let me show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this top with this skirt. Um, I don't know. I feel like I want to tie this differently. But this is the outfit. Food. And I'm feeling myself. So I've been spending so much time trying to take photos of myself. <laughs> I hope I got some good ones. Um, if you see photos on Instagram, it means I did. I FaceTime my friends to kind of like tell me what they think. This is my outfit. Ooh, it's sick. You know the bad thing about nature is that there's just so many crawly things everywhere. You know. Also, just unbox my Sigma lens. Um, so I'm supposed to film a sit down video today. Wondering if I should probably go and do that as I await. Yeah, I guess I am. You might be the man with that sunless I am. Okay, I'll come for this I am. Go ahead and get dressed I am. Okay, cool, we want sunset. I'm about to slide, okay. I'm outside, okay. This lifestyle don't got any downsides. Except for the lack of time to get around my family. Make a shit ain't never downsides. I got visions in my mom say, okay, this house good. Can't lie, I'm on English cloud nine. I got a whole bandwagon down about time. Outfit change to shoot more content. I'm probably got grab snacks or something.
person is snuggling right now except me so I have just the boat to myself so I can you know film concert but yeah it is what it is earrings shop right now glasses vintage Dolce and Gabbana uh I think uh jewelry same as usual you know the usual <laughs> Hi boss, good morning. Can you hear the birds singing? Before you wonder why I look like I have enough energy, I've been filming content. Uh, I think today is my last night here. Um, so any content that I don't get, oh well. <laughs> So I don't know, they said I want to film a skincare routine, more like a morning skincare routine. So I'm gonna, oh guys, I had these really bad rashes on my neck and pseudocrem cleared it all. You should have pseudocrem in your skincare stash. I don't care if you're from 2022 or 2021. Jumbo! Or 2021. Anywho, so yes, um, I will be leaving for breakfast in like an hour. I'm just trying to shoot some vacation looking content uh, before then. So let me show you guys my process. <laughs> Alright my love, so the one of the favorite things I really love 
about my iPad. I still need to get like a proper case, a magic keyboard and all that stuff. But I really love how you can, first off, I'm going to use this as a monitor for filming. That's one of the like really super amazing things I love about it. But the next best thing I love is how I can use it for this. This looks so much better on an iPad. And you can see that I've been searching a lot of vacation content. So, I mean, that's what's coming up here. It seems like the network isn't so great. Just want to look at the things that I have saved. Let's go to clean aesthetic. Object all screens. And then waiting for that to load. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so it's my last day here. I'm trying to pack up to leave. <laughs> glass I believe and so they cut it and then they felt the edges to use it for ashtray so cool. taking a picture to recreate definitely all right so um, first off like the city is so much more noisier than like you know being in Malindi Nairobi just feels like legal. So yesterday, so many things happened to me, guys. First things first, the airline, Jumbo Jet, I flew from Malindi to Nairobi. They forgot my boxes in Malindi. So they ended up bringing the boxes around 11 p.m. yesterday night, which is kind of cool. And I was happy about it, but um, I was sleeping. So they didn't bring my box up for me because I was sleeping. So now I'm still waiting for the hotel to kind of um, send someone up to bring the, the what's it called, to bring the box. Um, so secondly, I was supposed to fly back today, but I, for some reason it was like I missed, it. this is a long story about this trip, but it was going to cost me about $418 to get on the flight tomorrow to get back to just like I'm not going to spend that kind of money um so I asked for the next uh, available evening flight so that I'm not flying during work hours and the next available evening flight is on Thursday and it was going to cost me a hundred and something dollars to change the flight so that made more sense so I'm in Nairobi for two more nights um that I planned so that's cool I'm happy I don't really think I'll be doing much because I have work to do. Maybe I'll be missing people uh, like I don't think I'll be doing touristy stuff because uh, I, I do have to I do have to work. Um I'm back from me today so I do have to work. Um what else? I feel like that's it. I'm supposed to be up with some of my co workers for a breakfast date. So looking forward to that and let me show you guys what the city is like. This is the sun and it looks really good. So that's the city. This is my morning view. You say you won't, I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I let it all go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got potential, I can't explain. It's so persuasive, I make some changes. Oh Hey guys, so it's my last day 
last day here. I've been at this Airbnb for two nights. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So it's like, you know, this, then you go on, and then there's this, and this is the kitchen, dining, my shoes, table. I feel like my favorite part was kind of like here. So I think Nairobi, they like a lot of balcony veranda situation, just so that you like watch outside. These are other apartments too. You can see. But yeah, guys, like this country. Kenya is not cold, but you see Nairobi. Nairobi is really, really cold. Malindi was like warmer, you know, nicer. Kenya is cold. So if you want to live in Africa, but maybe you don't want like you want to you want like a broad weather ish, but you don't want to live in Africa. I think that Kenya, Ethiopia, South Africa are really good countries to live in. But yeah, packing and heading to my final hotel before my flight this evening because I need to work from somewhere and check out for so let's move